right, so just got back to the office here in Greenville, South Carolina, and had an incredible weekend um, down in Isle of Palms, South Carolina, down at the beach. And it was really a very kind of last minute uh, trip uh, my wife and I planned uh, to go down there, just spend some time together, um, had our daughter, and it was absolutely awesome. Um, I think as you guys have seen this change in me, in my mentality, in my priorities, in just the way I've been going about my everyday life, um, it's one thing to see that in a work setting with meetings and podcasts and selling and, and all that good stuff. It's another to experience it while actually on vacation. And it's funny to even think of the fact that like vacations are even different, um, but it was. And because of the intentional focus on those priorities of putting family first, even on vacation, I was able to enjoy it so much more. Um, spent such an incredible amount of quality, quality, quality time uh, with my wife, uh, with my daughter, and I didn't have that feeling of guilt as though I was behind on something, as though that time that I was spending was taking away from, from something else productive that I quote unquote should be doing. I just was all in and fully focused and being present in the moment and it was awesome. Um, spent tons of time just out on the beach, just running around. My daughter would love to kind of run when the water would go out and as the water would come back in, she would love to sprint. So we literally just like sprinted back and forth probably for hours uh, over the course of the week. And she loves the water. She's been doing uh, the ISR swim lessons since she was like, I don't know, four or five months old whenever uh, they start doing that. But she continued to do those, so she loves the water. And it freaks everybody else out because we don't put anything on her like floaties or swimmies or whatever you call those things, life jackets. Um, and she just wants to jump in the water over and over and over. She put her up on the edge and she's like, you just say one, two, she goes, <gasps> and you say three, and she just jumps in. You kind of let her go to the bottom and she floats right back up and pops up and, and floats on her back. It's actually pretty awesome. Everyone usually kind of crowds around because like, what, how old is she? She's 20 months, like it's crazy. Um, she absolutely loves the water, which is cool. Uh, but just being intentional with that time, setting aside time that was specifically for connecting and just spending quality time uh, was extremely, extremely valuable uh, this past weekend. It was so peaceful and, and resting, and I feel like I've hit the reset button. And as I get, went into today and in my meditation this morning, my gratitude journal this morning, I crushed my run uh, this morning, and now I'm about to do a bunch of different things. I've got two, a podcast, a live podcast, a bunch of uh, other work that I have to get done uh, this afternoon. I just have a whole kind of new frame of uh, of mind going into it. Like I feel like I'm just um, just full, uh, and I, that's a very kind of weird feeling. But just like full of just you know love and enjoyment and just happy. And I haven't been that way in a long time. I've been happy, um, but not just like full of complete happiness and gratitude of just kind of where things are. I've always been like focused on where things are going and what will happen when I get there and being able to do these types of things when I get there. But now realizing that like you may not ever get there. <laughs> so you have to enjoy the time that you have now and make the absolute most out of every minute that you have, uh, especially with your loved ones. So it was an awesome experience. I'm glad to be back and, and refocused. Um, tomorrow we head out to Arizona. Uh, we're teaching a video workshop with Sean Whalen and Colby Kay. Uh, tomorrow in Phoenix and then the meltdown in the desert event starts Friday so uh, again part of this priorities and reprioritizing my life my wife will be flying down this will be the first um, quote-unquote business type event uh, that my wife will be at uh, so she's coming down bringing her best friend a bunch of friends and and people that I've connected with from all over the country are going to be coming in uh, it's gonna be an awesome awesome event Kobe does a great job and this year the theme is legacy so it couldn't be more perfect uh, with all the stuff that we've been talking about here here recently in this kind of new definition of legacy uh, that I have now um, couldn't be a better time to sit up there and, and hear people talk about it and also get to talk about it myself because I'm gonna be speaking uh, at meltdown in the desert uh, I think we'll be doing just some Q&A with 
with Colby on kind of all this stuff we're doing. And it's, it's funny because like all these canned kind of responses that I've had for so long, I'm having to kind of reconfigure based on this new framework uh, and this new state of mind that I'm in. Uh, but I can't wait to talk about it. Can't wait to really put some value uh, out there and hope people get something uh, a lot out of it. So um, with that, I'm excited about the rest of today. About to do an awesome podcast um, with someone that I met out at the Utah Podcast Festival. And then about to do a live rounds with No Hook, which is our live Q&A that's gonna happen this afternoon. And then just planning out a bunch of stuff for this video workshop and getting ready for the meltdown of the desert and the other stuff that's got to get done so we can get out there and make it happen. So appreciate each and every one of you for following this journey and it's only getting better. I can promise you that. What's up guys. If you have not yet done so, please like my Facebook page. Then next to the like button, click following, which will bring a drop down. And when it says in the news feed, click see first. This will ensure that you will always see the content that we're pushing out. The last thing that we want to have happen is for us to put out content that you actually want to see, but you don't. So make sure that you hit see first and we'll see you next time.